Hi guys, this is Rohit. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna looking at width and spacing of tables and also background color and borders of table. So now, so this tutorial, I'm gonna talking about five attributes. So the first one is border. Uh, I haven't spoken deep about this border. So whatever we give the value is in pixels. So this is in pixels. So now let's me give this value as 10. Now see this in browser. So this border, I have the border as 10 pixels for this table. So now when I give, when I increase this to 20, now I got extra 20. So that is about border of a table. Now let me speak about width of the table. I want to increase my width of my table I want to increase the width of the table so now I'm, I have an attribute we have an attribute that is width attribute width attribute now I am giving the width as 400 pixels now save this and see this in browser let me show you one thing when I shrink this browser some information is not showing so now that is why what I'm gonna recommend is better give this value in percentage this is in pixels you can also give the value as percentage in percentage I mean I'm giving 100% that means the width of my table occupies 100% of my browser so now see this in browser my table occupies 100% width of my browser now when I shrink this you can you can observe the change it changes dynamically it is responsive so I recommend this uh, use this in uh, percentage so now and the next thing is next attribute is cell padding attribute cell padding cell padding so what it does is it adds space in each of the table cell so now let me give this value as 20 if you see this in browser i get some extra space in each of each cell of my table so that's it about cell padding and the next attribute is cell spacing what it does is it adds space between each of the cell in the table so now let's see this in browser you can see this I have some space in each of the space between each of my cells in the table so that is it about cell spacing and cells padding so now and I'm gonna talking about another attribute that is BG color attribute BG color attribute that means uh, let's say it is red color that means it adds the BG color background color of the table I have given it as red let's see this in browser now my entire table colored red now what I want is I want this first row to be red color uh, to be green color let's say you can also use this attribute here in the row so now I am giving the first row BG color as uh, let's say it is uh, uh, what, what a color yellow suppose yellow now see this in browser my first row turned yellow colored yellow and now I want I want to highlight a particular cell with another color now I can also use the cell a BG color attribute BG color I am giving the BG color as blue let's say it is blue now see this in browser now my full entire I have made my entire table a red color or I have made my first row a yellow color and I have made my cell a blue color one so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so you have learned about five attributes in this tutorial those are border attribute 
the bg color attribute and cell padding attribute cell spacing attribute and finally width attribute so that's it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel yeah see you in the next tutorial this is interesting yeah bye